So hey stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. You know, one of the last videos that we have done was this beautiful butterfly. It was water colored. So much fun. Check this out. Wow, how cool is that? Yeah, I love it. So um, that was in one of our previous videos. But today we are going to do this awesome, awesome flamingo. Do you guys notice this color down here? Yes, that is the new Coastal Cabana. It is by far my favorite color of the in colors this time around. So love it, love it, love it. This is gonna be your Bermuda Bay. So we've got a fun flamingo here. Do you notice that I used all punch art to make him? It's punch art. Um, so I used all punches, super easy. You do need a few punches, but it's not too terrible. Um, I've got, um, I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and tell you which punches I used along the way. And if you'd like to see it, you can visit brainyscards.com and I'll have all the punches labeled and I'll tell you exactly if I use the one inch punch for his head and so forth, all right? So we'll just keep that really simple. So all you really need right now is Whisper White. I'm gonna fold my Whisper White cardstock in half. And there you have it. Now you need Coastal Cabana. I hope you guys, do you guys like this color? Oh, I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear the Coastal Cabana. I want it to kind of look like waves. So I'm gonna just, you know, sort of tear it. Um, I like to tear it towards me. I wouldn't really worry too much about how you do it. You know, you want one that's a little bit, um, one that's a little skinnier than the other. And then what I'm gonna do is if you see how I just layered that, check that out. See that? So it kind of looks like, you know, it gives it a little bit of a depth and dimension. So I'm gonna glue the bottom layer down, then I'm gonna pop the second layer up. The reason that I'm gonna do that is because I'm gonna put my flamingo's little legs inside that second layer, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put my Stampin' Dimensionals across the bottom. Here we go, we got one more Stampin' Dimensional to put on here. So there we go, and we're gonna stick it right here across the bottom, and you can see how it totally, it totally made like really cool water. Now we're gonna take, and we have got the flamingo, let's start making him. So you'll see that I need two of my circle scallops. You need one of the large ovals. You're gonna need three of these little, I think these were called the modern label. Um, so you're gonna need three of those. And then you're also gonna need um, one, of, one of the uh, one inch circle for his head. I also use Daffodil Delight and use the two and three eighths punch for the sun. And I also, the beak, you know, the beak can be, you don't really need a punch, but I'll show you how I did that when I get there. So I have got strawberry slush here, and I went ahead and punched out my pretty and pink paper, but you can use pink pair away. I just use the pretty and pink because that's what I have available right now. Um, and I just kind of want to use that up since um, that color has retired. So I'm going to go ahead, and what I'm doing right now is I am just kind of flicking my flamingo here, his little wings, adding a little bit of color and depth to him. I just think it looks really cool when you do that. And um, I tried to actually do it without doing that, and well, it wasn't quite as pretty. But, so I'm just gonna go through here, and all of his little parts and pieces, I am just kind of adding a little bit of color to. Not a big deal whatsoever. All right. Now, you're gonna take your one of your modern labels, and you're gonna cut right down the center, and that is his legs. That's right, that is his legs right there. So he's got some skinny legs. If you didn't, then his legs would be as big as his neck. He might look a little funny. No, he would look funny. But you know, it's all in how you interpret it, I guess. All right, so there's that. Now what I'm gonna do is I kind of want one of his wings to look just a little bit different. So I am just gonna kind of cut around the top wing just a little bit. You certainly don't have to, um, but I do like the way that it looks. And make sure you go back and, and kind of add a little bit of color, you know, with your flicking technique there. All right, so now it's time to build our flamingo. Now you're gonna need Stampin' Dimensionals. And then of course you do want some, some glue and so forth. Um, I am gonna start with his legs. And I like to just take and use some Tombow glue and put it down his, one of the legs. And I'm just gonna stick it right underneath here kind of on an angle, because I want him sort of standing in the water, as you can see. And then I'm gonna take the other leg and put a little bit of Tombow glue down. And I wouldn't worry too much about this part, quite honestly, because 
You know, when you put that big oval, the large oval on top, you're never going to see if the legs are a little crooked and so forth, so it's not that big a deal. So now we're going to use a couple Stampin' Dimensionals underneath our large oval. Pretty easy so far. We're going to stick that right there on him, on top of his legs. And now let's move on to his wing. I've got the whole scallop circle, and I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow glue on the back. I'm just going to glue that one down. That one's kind of fluttering up a little bit. And then I'm going to take the wing that I kind of rounded off, and I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals behind that. Why do I do that? Well, because then it kind of gives it life. It gives it a little bit of dimension, and um, it just looks really cool, by the way. It looks really cool. So now I'm going to kind of set this one here, and he is looking good. I am loving him. So now I have his neck, which is basically the modern label. I'm going to put a couple Stampin' Dimensionals behind his neck. All right. So let's see here. They fit just perfectly. So you kind of have to, you know, you got to kind of put it in there carefully. So you don't see it on the other side. Now here, make sure that you tilt his neck towards the back here on the angle. Otherwise, he'll look kind of funny. Now I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm, here's my circle, my one inch circle for his head. I'm just going to set that aside and work on his beak. Now here I've got, um, I, I punched for his beak. I punched this, um, this punch right here. I honestly can't remember the name of this one, um, but I just, it doesn't really matter quite honestly. I just needed some scraps. Um, what I did is I actually cut a beak, a template for all the ladies, and it took me kind of a while to get to this one. So you're just, it's trial and error, quite honestly, until you get the beak that you like. So once you do, then you take a piece of white and black paper, just hold them together, set your template beak on top, and as you can see here, all I'm going to do is just trim around it. But I am trimming the white and the black at the exact same time. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want them both to be identical, and I'll show you why I want them identical. There we go. We'll just take this template away. I was really nervous about losing that template, let me tell you. At Stamp Camp, I was like, eww. All right. So the reason that I want him perfect is now I want to have that little bit of black at the end of his beak. And so I can just really easily cut that end piece off. And now it's going to match perfectly with um, the tip of his white one. And I just used a mini glue dot. That's all I did, a, a mini glue dot to add it on there. There you go. You see that? Perfect. So now I'm going to put a little Tombow glue here on the end and I'm going to stick it underneath his head and he is looking good. We'll take a Stampin' Dimensional and we'll put a couple Stampin' Dimensionals down. Now I wouldn't put the Stampin' Dimensional on top of the neck because the neck is already pretty tall because you have a Stampin' Dimensional on it already. So I would probably just stick it, you know, around in, you know, around it, quite honestly. So I'm just sticking his face down. He looks great. And now I've got some googly eyes. I think you guys have heard me say it before, googly eyes just make people happy. Um, make everybody smile, so we love that. And I'm going to use a little Tombow glue, just put a dot down, and I can set my googly eye on there perfectly. Oh, look how cool that is. Love it. How about the sun? You know, it was funny because when I was doing this card, I just really wanted a pop of color. Um, so I decided to go ahead and add the sun. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right here on my card. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. And I'm going to add my sun. And one of the gals said to me, well, why don't you cut the sun before you glue it down? Well, quite honestly, I didn't really know I was going to add the sun, you know, before I did. So that is the big reason. But the other reason is, is once you have it glued down on here, you've got, per you've got the straight edge of the card just to snip it off. So it's not really that big a deal. So I'm just going to snip it off like such. There's one side. And then we'll snip it off on that side. Pretty easy. And now we have the sun. All right, so on this card I put I Miss You Already, which I thought was really cute, and I can't wait to send that one to my mom. But the greeting that I just chose now is you can never have too much happy, right? It's Coastal Cabana, and it's like a flamingo, and the sun, and the ocean. I would have to agree with that. You can never have too much happy. So we're going to go ahead and just straight down, straight up. There you go. And that straight down and that straight up may have been a wee bit crooked. 
But you know what? There's always a way to fix that. And how would you fix that? Well, you just take a piece of scrap paper, and I always have scrap paper standing by, and I always have my punches standing by. So let's see. How wide is that? That's probably what? Let's just start off with two inches. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just re-stamp it. And you never know. You might actually like it a little bit better popped up. You never know, right? So we just re-stamped it. And I got a fuzzy on there. So we'll flip it over. Stamp it one more time. Perfect. And so as you can see here, we just stamped it. It looks really good. Um, I'll, whoop. All I'm going to do is cut it so that it matches. And I don't mind it being um, a square at all because it is kind of a square greeting. So that doesn't bother me one bit. Um, so I just kind of trimmed it a little bit. Looks really good. And then we're going to take our Stampin' Dimensionals. Got a couple here already. Just going to put it behind the greeting and put it down. So no one will know that it was a mistake, that it was a little crooked. Although it was pretty a subtle crooked. But there we go. Perfect. You can never have too much happy. So that is a really fun flamingo punch art card. I hope you give it a try. Punch art is a lot of fun. It can be intimidating, but if you kind of, you know, take a step back and look at your punches maybe in a different way, you can create some really fun things. So um, I appreciate you stopping by, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. So thanks again. Have a great day.